Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Wednesday, October 22nd, 2008. This morning I'd like to start going through a couple days worth of Small Talk Dailies where we'll build a small example. And the example I'll use is a website like this. There's a comic strip that I like to read every day, Pearls Before Swine. And let's say I wanted to create a local RSS feed. Not something I'm going to share with the world because I don't really want to engage in copyright violations. But let's say that I wanted to create a local RSS feed on my system that I could then subscribe to with any reader and then read this strip every morning instead of having to go to the website. And you'll notice it's filled with all sorts of stuff and I'd have to scroll down here and I have to remember to go to it. So let's say I want to do that. How would I go about it? Well, first thing I want to do is I want to go to the public store repository and I want to connect to Syncom Smalltalk. Now what I want is under published items I want to look for a package beginning with feed writers right here and I want to take the latest version of that and I want to load that. Now once that loads let's just take a brief look at what's in there. So we'll open a browser and we'll come down to feed writers and here we have a bunch of sax writers. Now if you're not familiar with how these work let's just go to this one let's go to the abstract class first what you typically have is this kind of notation. Let me make this fit inside the window. So we have start RSS, so that would start my RSS feed. And then I have start channel, which is the way an RSS feed looks. And then I would have start item down here for the item. And then to write individual elements, if you go down here, you'll find under accessing, content handler, all of these things you have copyright colon to write that thing, category colon to write that. I have the pub date, which is an RSS item. I have the title. So this is how you put out all of these elements. So you write them as if they're just accessors, but it then puts out the appropriate tags for you. Now to give you an idea what the end result of that would look like, let's go ahead and open up a file. It turns out that I run such a thing on my system. So let's open up a file here. And we'll go to Applications, Bottom Feeder, change this to All Files. And if I scroll down, you'll find that I have a pearls.xml. And you end up with something that looks like this. So I have my RSS tag up here, the channel tag up here. And then down here I have a single item. And inside the item I have my data. So I have the link to it the title, the description, which is again just the link, and that's pretty much it. So this is how I create a local RSS feed from something that doesn't have an RSS feed. Now what I'll do tomorrow is we'll actually write the code to create this. So I've loaded the package, I've shown you pretty much what you need to do, but tomorrow we'll start walking through how to actually do it. So until then, have fun with small